Hi folks, welcome to Root STEM and welcome to this 1500 point battle report of Astra Militarum versus Eldari or for you old schoolers out there, Imperial Guard versus Eldar. Hi guys, thank you very much for joining me today. We're kind of doing a little bit of a special battle report. I'm going to be playing against my opponent, my regular opponent, or very regular at one point on this channel, and Mr. Grange. And he's going to be playing with the Cadian Imperial Guard, or possibly one of his own chapters, not decided yet. But I'm just recording this before we get together. Uh, I've put the terrain out. We're going to be playing the Tempest of War, because I'll be honest with you, a fantastic way of playing Warhammer 40k, especially when you've not got any narratives set up. And we're going to be kind of refighting an old school battle report. This is the first ever battle report I put on the channel. It was my Eldar versus Granger's Imperial Guard. We're going to be doing a little bit of a callback to that of a very different terrain, I must admit. And I'll be honest with you, very different armies with very different codexes. Although some themes will persist, I'll go through those in a moment with you. Um, Tempest of War is going to be, we're going to show you the cards in a moment, but let's get on with some terrain talk. So as you can see in this particular game we are using a 6 foot by 4 foot table uh, for a 1500 point game. It's perfectly legal to do so and I much prefer to play on bigger battlefields sometimes it gives you much more scope and variety. Um, we've got the usual culprits, the usual buildings of course that are going to be counted as ruins. We've even got my weird cut corner ruins that I'm going to be using. We have some craters. Craters are going to be following the standard rules for craters. As you already know, standard rules for actual ruins. We've got some little blocks of trees as well. Uh, these little map things that I've managed to find. I'm going to try and actually get some better ones. Um, they are from um, a game called Tanks. Just been repurposed for this particular mission. We've got some, I'm going to count these as uh, obstacles. They're going to give you light. Uh, we're going to give you light cover if you're within three inches. And if you're more than three inches away, we're going to count them as dense. So firing over them. If you're within two inches, you're going to get a benefit of a cover save, but it's easier to see. If you're firing over them, it's going to give dense cover, of course, making it minus one. This here, this is going to be scalable which is going to be the uh, little building inside this uh, little bit of a train area. This is actually one of the ridge haulers from Necromunda. I just thought it'd be a little bit nicer. The idea is majority of this is like, you know, it's been shot up, it's probably on fire. So this here is going to be a very large obstacle, uh, which is going to provide light and dense cover. So firing over it is going to be a minus one. And if you're in two inches of it, you're going to also get a plus one to save. So it's going to be quite good to be actually within that particular terrain pieces. Crates, of course, big crates, container crates. They are going to be what they, you find in the Warhammer 40,000 rulebook. And then these things like the cranes and, of course, the, um, the little obstacles at the opposite side. They're just going to be obstacles that provide you with light cover. So a plus one to your saving throw. So not much in the way of uh, diversion, but it's a decent little battlefield. So let's get talking about some models. So taking a look at the Elder first, all of our well, Aladari, all of the army lists are available at rootstem.co.uk. I will include the links to the two armies that are taking part in this game. So you guys can go over the army lists. They are battle scribe ones that are just fancied up and tattered up a little as you can see from my elder force i've gone for a pretty heavy amount of wave serpents um this is because i'm trying something new with it, my, my elder i'm wanting to be able to actually move that uh, you know keep everyone alive i know grange i know he's going to bring some artillery i don't want them all dying in the first strike we've also taken some rangers i am using a vanguard detachment to try and get as many elites as i can because i am a bail tan force um it yeah, I find uh, having too many Guardian squads and Ranger squads to try and fill out your troop choices, it's not very thematic for me. But I have taken a unit of Rangers. These Rangers are, of course, a classic metal ones. Not the original classic metals, but the second wave. But they did turn into fine cast, but 
got rid of my fine cast ones. I hate them. Uh, I do, do have some new plastics, but these guys are playing in this game simply because this is a bit of a refight from when we first fought it quite a few years ago now. We've also got some Aspect Warriors, of course. Two lots of Dire Avengers I've taken. Squad of Howling Banshees, and we've got a squad of six Fire Dragons. These guys are going to hopefully be able to put some hurt onto Granger's forces. These are led by my own custom Azraman, although I didn't paint him. I, I got it from, um, I'm saying own custom, I didn't actually make the custom. A friend of mine did it, uh, and then, of course, he painted it. I need to have time to repaint it, but there we go. But Azraman's going to be a good leader for his force. He also led the force many, many moons ago as well. Moving on to the Imperial Guard. Granger's got quite a few men here, to be honest with you. Um, he's taken some very interesting doctrines, which is going to cause me a bit of a problem, especially if he's not moving that fast and he's getting the benefits of cover. It's negating some of the minuses that my guys have got, especially against the Guardsmen. He's taken a Manticore. I don't know why you wouldn't in a game this size. Manticores are pretty reliable. He's also upgraded it with a tank ace for... Maximum Munitions, I think that's what it's called. That is going to be given out at least three damage every time it hits. And of course, you can fire from an indirect range. And it's it's quite, I'll be honest again, pretty good unit. There's other artillery pieces as well, including, uh, I believe it used to be called um, Large Imperial Mortar. This is quite a heavy gun, and it should actually deal some damage. It's a good mid-range weapon. Good against Eldar. Pretty good choice there, Grange. Um, we of course got the usual captains, this guy's just carrying a plasma pistol and a power sword and he's actually taken two company commanders to be able to give himself the maximum amount of orders necessary and as you can see from his list, there's a hell of a lot of basic line troopers and veterans in this force so the mission drawn on the cards is claim the battlefield in the first, second and fourth battle rounds, we get five points for one objective. We get another five points for second objective. And if we complete the claim objective action, we get another two points in every single command phase. The mission rule is supply lines. So we need to make sure we hold on to those objectives that are set up in our deployment zone. This might be a bit tricky for the Elder because, of course, we like to shift forward and try and get in people's faces, especially with some of the close range weapons that we've got. And I'll see what I can do. And the deployment zone is an old school cleanse classic, a search and destroy. It's one of my favorite deployment zones because it gives you units up front, but it also gives you units in the backfield. So deployment wise, the Elder doesn't have a lot on the battlefield. Majority of the stuff was in tanks. So we've got a tank of Banshees, we've got a tank of Dire Avengers, and we've got a tank of Dire Avengers with Azraman. We've also got a unit of rangers down here, and the fire dragons are in the falcon there, up in the sky. Grange, describe to me how you have set up today, sir. Poorly. Poorly. <laughs> Poorly. What I thought is, I'm, I'm just terrified of the falcon full of fire dragons. Right. So what I've done is a, 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 a spread. A spread. A spread. A non-tactical spread, right, just to know. ensure nothing lands in my back line. Okay. Uh, and after that, there's very little thinking. Right, okay, okay, so very little thinking, mm -hmm. I, I like it, Very. not very much thinking. We've got some several infantry squads up front by the looks of it, all just basic las guns. Uh, las guns, in them, each one's got a melter in there as yeah, well. Yeah, 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 Grange has got a lot of figures, he can do stuff like this. Uh, quite a few tanks, I'm glad that they didn't take, come on, focus, I'm glad he didn't take his original idea. There we go. Oh, not zoomed in. I'm glad I didn't take his original idea because I would have been boned about falling in the battle tank. I wouldn't have been boned, but it would have been more difficult. Uh, some veterans as well for you guys at home in those chimeras. So those chimeras are going to give me some heartache, I think, some problems. And that command tank as well with the multi melters will probably give me some problems as well. Oh, yeah, but, but you've only got three things for me to shoot. I know, at. I know, but uh, from, from, from Granger's line, there's yeah, not okay, a lot. I'll, I'll be honest, if I get first turn, I'm, I'm probably just going to be <laughs> staying where I am. Staying where you are. Lulling you into a false sense of security. This is true. So, regarding that, sir, who's going to get first turn? Oh, I got a one, it's I, a three. Uh, Grange has to have first turn of the game. So after spending a command point to redraw, Grange has drawn secure no man's land, overwhelming firepower, and behind enemy lines. 
Good luck with that one, pal. Yeah. Uh, just so people know, he actually got rid of no prisoners. I think he would have preferred to have keep them that one. Yeah, there, maybe. that might have been a tactical <laughs> area very early on. <laughs> right. Moment. Hi there, guys. Microwave buzzing in the background. Granger's move very aggressively. These guys have shifted. They've shifted. They've all pretty much all of his infantry have advanced through the actual game. The Limitless Battle Tanks have moved a little bit tiny forward. We're not quite sure if we can see anything just yet, but he's going to fire with some heavy artillery. This heavy mortar is just in range of this wave serpent. So he's going to fire off six shots. Strong start. Strong start. Oh, Christ. <laughs> that's six that's, times. That's, yeah, that was seven. That's seven. Uh, oh, 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 we forgot. Oh, we have. Oh, oh, oh. Um, it needs fours. So that's two automatic wounds. It is because of the new rules. And then toughness uh, seven. seven sixes, so fives. So three wounds. What's uh, the minus? Minus six? one. Minus one. And how much damage? Flat two. Jeez. Oh, only one, so that'll be four wounds on that wave serpent. So we've had a look, we're going back a little bit. Order's been given to this tank, rear all wants to hit. It can see this Lehman Rust just. So it's firing over this, so this is dense, it's going to be minus one to hit. So he's got the plasma firing. So turret first. Three shots. Three shots. This is its first round of shots. One mm. fives, one hit. It needs at least fours because of the wave serpent field. Oh. And it's a six, so right, one wound. So we've got one wound so far. Uh, second turret shot. Second turret shot. For five. five. I'm going to do them take Two, aims. Yeah, yeah. Two ones there. So he's got this. So he's suffered a mortal wound. Yeah. And he's got another two hits. Six. No sixes. He needs forced to wound. One. Another wound. And then the sponsons. Yeah. Two D three sponsons. Two, four more shots. Four shots. Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, automatic wounds. Yeah. Uh, we roll that one. Ah, that's two. So there's two more wounds. Two more wounds. Another wound. three damage. God damn. So that's going to be five saves. It's minus three. Normally it will be sixes. Wave Serpent Shield makes it a five plus invul. And I got none, so that's two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's a dead vehicle. <gasps> and I don't blow up. But I do have eight guys inside. And I lost a guy. So Dire Revengers down. It's firing the Matnicor now into the Rangers. 2d6 shots. Eight shots. For eight. Ooh, and uh, three, well, it's two automatic hits and wounds, and yep. then one hit. Two. At five. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, there's no minus for uh, guarding direct fire like there is for everybody else. Um, and oh, two sixes two, 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 automatic two, six, wounds. Uh, and I believe I've lost four men. So, very devastating round there. One of the tanks has gone, a very elite army, so I can't really afford to lose squads. And uh, thankfully, that one. Guy managed to save. <laughs> He's all on his own. <laughs> Poor lad. Right. Let's go into my game turn one. So missions drawn for the Eldar. Capture enemy outpost. Yeah, all right, pal. Uh, extend battle lines and battlefield supremacy. That might be difficult. So some strategic tactical manoeuvring here. Some tanks are swimming through. Oh, hang on a minute. We've got a uh, we've got a falcon that's come down a fire prism. Uh, sorry, a wave serpent that's moved up. This gorge somehow in banshees. We've got some more lads here trying to take this objective because of course I need to try and get some victory points. I think at the end of this turn, uh, and these lads are looking at trying to get up here. So I'm playing wrath of the aspects. That's be down to seven command points. So I've got any sixes causing additional hit, and I'm opening fire on those lads there. Freeze to hit. That is the worst roll I've ever seen. Right, not a lot of hits there. Rolling to wound, no needing freeze. That's a bit better. Look, we've got a couple of sixes already. So them four sixes, even with a plus one to his armor save, are going to be minus four, so that's four dead. And then them four are going to be minus two, so he needs 
four, he's got four saves needing six. So one, so he loses seven. That's pretty harsh. The Shuriken Wave Serpent is now going to open fire. It's going to open fire upon this lot here. These guys have got light cover from the intervening vehicle. So needing threes to hit. I'm going to play another CP. So I'm down to six for Blade Storm. So again, any sixes get an additional hit. And I'll remember this time I can re-roll a dice. Oh, Christ. I got a six. You got another six. So at least they hit. This is a strength six weapon. It's minus one and shuriken, so I'm needing twos. Oh my god. <laughs> right, so that one will be a minus three. So that's going to punch straight through, and these two are going to be minus one. So you're going to need three saves of five, sir, because of your cover. Oh Jesus! I can't even kill guardsmen. Right, Falcon's now going to open up. It's going to open fire upon that closest uh, vehicle. Two shots with the pulse. Reroll one of them to hit. Still misses. So I've got one hit needing freeze. Oh I'll command point that. So that's one that's gone through. Now this, I believe, is a minus three. Normally it would be a six, but because of armor content, he needs a five. And he gets it. Shall I leave now, Frank? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shuriken. Oh, Shuriken managed to hit. Uh, but this now needs fives. So that's one armor with minus one, which will just ignore. So that'll be minus three, and that's minus three. So that'll be one save of three and one save of five, sir. So the five up. Goes through. Three up. Three. Oh, both of them two go through. That's four damage. These are two damage apiece. Next. But one of the last things I'm going to be doing here at this particular turn is firing the rockets over into the plasma. Tank, which has already lost two wounds. I need four to hit because we're firing over the intervening terrain. Will you gear or auto focusing? Right, re roll that for Bail 10. So I managed to get two hits. I'm going to use my six to wound for an automatic wound, and the second one also wounds. So that will be two wounds. Now it's normally minus two, so it'll take it to a four. Armor content means it's a three. So I get one through. Yay! And it's a six. So that'll be six points of damage. Takes it down to four, which means it is bracketed, but with Granger's abilities, you might be able to get that back up. Right, let's have a look at a charge phase. So at the end of battle round one, uh, I managed to score five points for extend battle lines. Grange is on 10 VPs. I am in a position, oh, we've done the morales. Uh, he lost nearly everybody over there. Uh, one guy survived, surprisingly, he's picked up that melter gun. He's ready. Uh, these guys here didn't even waver. They were just like, yep, yeah, that's gonna be me. And yeah, we're going to see what's going to happen <laughs> under turn two. It might not last long. Great just win his orders. He's going to do a take aim with these guys, which means that them guys can also take aim. And those guys can also take aim. It's a take aim smorgasbord. So what are you targeting for? Who are you firing first and what are you targeting? I'm going to target with the... Ones at the back? Yep, yeah, the veterans at the back. Yep. Yeah. And the plasmas are going to be going into the Falcon. Yep. Yeah. And the flamer and las guns are going to be going into the... Uh... Right, so I will play lightning fast reactions on the tank. Mm -hmm. Which means that it is now a minus one to hit. Bums. And the banshees are already minus one to hit because of... Banshees. The banshees. Because of the banshees. Right. So... So, all the plasmas, uh, are you within 12 inches for everybody? Probably not. Well, probably will be. I've not actually got my weird tape measures. Hang on a second. Plasmas, overcharging? Absolutely. Absolutely overcharging. That's the reason why I'm rolling these ones. Yeah, yeah. Should have done them individually, but... you got three hits. Three hits. Because of the uh, minus. It's going to be freeze to wound. Oh! Oh, oh I frammed it. Oh. Oh, he did. It. he did. Do you want to use a command point to reroll one of them mm, or not? No, not yet. Okay. And then the flamer and everything else going yeah. into these. So the second veteran squad open fire. As you can see, there's no more banshees. They've gone. The plasma's now opening fire into the falcon. And that will be one auto wound and four hits. Oh, it's minus four. Yeah, 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 it's minus one. one. You need yeah, four because you freeze, four. you veterans. Yep. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
I didn't get any sixes. That's eight damage on the Falcon. Bollocks. So, folks, right. We were going to do the last guns. This team here is opening fire with everything into the Falcon. Granger's just got four automatic wounds with his last guns. I've got four wounds left. My dice rolls, how we are running at the moment, states this tank should now die. Oh, I saved them all. Oh, my good God. <laughs> and then we've got a melter gun. Which misses. It can re-roll ones, though. Oh, God damn it. And he still misses. That would have been that would have been painful, very painful. Uh, oh yes, right. Uh, is this oh, is this melter gun to go now? That melter gun's already got a minus one. Yeah, it's going to get another minus one, but you can't have more than one minus one. So one five. No You've missed. Missed. God for that. And then so we'll come back to the tanks. We need to do other orders, which I forgot about. Range now, deciding tank commander is going to re-roll himself some ones. He's going to fire all his anti-tank into this. He's going to fire all his anti-personnel into these guys because I've placed an objective in the silly area. So what's firing first, Grange? Uh, it's going to be Punisher. Punisher, first lot of Punisher shots. It's not firing over there, so he needs threes to hit. He re-rolls ones and he sixes auto wounds. There's a lot of dice here and I'm blurring. So we've rolled for the Punisher cannon. He's got 23 wounds against the Dire Avengers. Jesus. This is the first lot of dice. This is 20 in my hand. Right, so he's just deleted an entire squad of Dire Avengers. Marvellous. What can he do against the Lehman Russ? Uh, sorry, the uh, Wave Serpent. So he's got two multi melters. That's four shots. Oh, it is, is it? God, I just died. Could not play this game for so long. <laughs> That's four shots. We're rolling the ones. We're rolling the ones. The fires have hit. Oh, once oh, again, so it's just... Right, needs force to wound regardless of... Because uh, it would normally be freeze, but we're serpent. One. So one. At that range, it's going to be D6 damage, but... I don't save, because I've got a five up in one. Lovely. Oh, three. A three. Oh, come on, focus. Three. Last kind of coming in now. So hit. Hit. Force to wound. That's failure to wound. Ooh, I'm going to use a point? command point, that's... I'm use a command point, so one now used in his shooting phase. Go on, insert. No. Still, ah. Right, it's a re-roll, so yeah, you can't okay. re-roll, re-roll. Right. Whew, Ooh, that survived, right. I'm shocked. There's all this to go yet, and then there's all this to go yet. Right, so the next Lehman Russ is going to open fire. He's going to fire everything into this wave serpent. So the first shot. First shot of the turret, six oh, shots. That's... That's three sixes you've rolled for that turret so far. Is it? I believe so. I believe it's three sixes for that turret. Needing fives because of his thing and he can't re-roll ones. I'm guessing you're overcharging. Of course I'm overcharging. Yeah, of course he's overcharging. Oh, That's he's dead. Great. <laughs> so he lost three wounds and no hits from that first shot. So he's down to three. <laughs> Second shot. Still with overcharging. Three shots this time. He's down to one, one wound. wound. And I still haven't hit. He still doesn't actually. This might be revenge. Last cannon. Misses. Miss. And then 2d3 worth of. Because he did say he declared it everything. Yeah. Four shots. <laughs> oh! <laughs> We've hit you once. Oh man, that would have been amazing. That would have been absolutely awesome. And I've got no, no, you got a six. Oh, six, six, it was, yeah, wasn't so it? It's an automatic wound. Glad you're paying attention. <gasps> And it's a four, so that's another two damage on that. Right, some more shooting down here. Lost another Dire Avenger in that little flank. Losing, I've got hardly anything left in terms of squads here. Um, I shouldn't have gone for a very elite army, but that's what you get for Eldar. Heavy Mortar is now going to try and finish off the Falcon. D6 shots. Three. Three. It's minus one to hit because of lightning for, uh, fast reactions. I got away with that. That's yep. no hits at all. Um, so I will do... So Manticore, what are you doing? Mm, He's got plenty of choices. Manticore is going to hit... Have a go at trying to finish okay. the Falcon. 2d6 shots then, sir. Nine. Oh, that's going to work. Seven. Nine. So at least one has hit with a automatic wound. In five, so he needs freeze on these. He's got four of them. 
Five's the save. I need all four. No, must, no, that's two at least. That's gone through, that's a dead tank. Explode, please explode. Damn you! All right, I've managed to get out, and now he's gonna charge me. So which squad going first, the infantry? Infantry, normal grunts are just charging forward. They're in. And then and the, the veterans. veterans will follow suit. Oh, God's sake, no. that failed. Jesus Christ. So, we've got a charge going off. He's managed to make it in. It's gonna be 12 attacks on the charge. Thankfully, six is in this, don't auto wound, it's just shooting. She needs force. Ooh. And then fours again. Fours again. He's got three. Dice in hand. And I've saved them all. So, a disastrous turn two for me. Grange is going to be getting a hell of a lot of uh, victory points at the end of this one, but let's go into Elder turn two. So, we've got some guys moving forward up here. We've got the vehicle that's kind of sitting still, sitting pretty. And uh, we've also got some more vehicles down here with some Dire Avengers. The Ranger has moved in the command phase to the top. He can now see this Luminous Battle Tank. And I think Grange knows what's going to happen here because I'm going to use an auto hit and I'm going to use a six to wound, which causes a mortal wound on the tank, which means it's dead. <laughs> and it doesn't blow up. Right, didn't even roll. That just felt like a place. To... <laughs> just dismissive. But with your... that tank's gone. I forgot to mention my, uh, yeah, overwhelming firepower behind enemy lines and hold the line. Let's see if that can be done. So the Wave Serpent has just annihilated that lad down there. That's going to be another one for overwhelming firepower. We've rolled to see how many shots I get. I'm going to get nine shots against these guys. The priest hit and I've already used my reroll. Well, that's not too bad. So Grange now, this particular unit is going to be saving on fours. Why are you trying to auto-focus all the time? Don't buy an iPhone, folks, I tell you. This camera is absolutely dog crap. Azraman now is going to open fire on the same squad that just taken the hit. Twos. Now, he doesn't get re-rolls, unfortunately. No, does he get Bladestorm or anything like that, but never mind. Um, this is strength four, so you need freeze again. But this is minus two. That is minus four, so that's going to be one dead. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is going to be minus two, so that will be... Uh, Fives. Two more. He kills three. Another three. Right. I'm going to play Blade Storm on the Shuriken Cannon with this thing. And I'm targeting those three right the left. <laughs> I need three to hit. I've got a reroll for Bill Tan. I've got two sixes. So, in actual fact, for once, I've hit more than a shot. Two to wound. Right. Uh, so, that's three saves uh, needing six. And then that will be. Four, five, another six saves needing fours. So the three saves needing Dead. six. No, nope, he's gone. Oh, fuck us! One CP spent on fame retreat. That's going to try and target this Chimera. Three's to hit. Reroll fail. The bill turn. That wasn't part of that roll because we've got it in here. Yeah, right, okay. Needing threes is strength nine. Threes to wound and assured destruction with the fire dragons means I reroll ones to wound against vehicles. Which is a good job. So, now it would normally have punched straight through, but the armor contempt rule means that that is now only a minus of three. I will double check though. So, Grange requires sixes. Sixes. Not one of them. Ooh, right. So, the minimum with four dice is three, six, nine, twelve. So, it's a dead tank. Don't explode. You mother! Oh, bed. Right, Grange, we know for a fact, I think, that majority, there's a good chance that quite a lot of guys are going to be. I wouldn't say you, I wouldn't say you guys that, in. That. And my yours. guys. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you want to roll, you want to roll against mine? Yeah, sure. Two. Two. Oh. That's the two's gone, hopefully. And then against these guys here, that will be two, because that's a D3. Mm -hmm. This is a D3 dice, folks. Yes. That's what, yeah. It's for people at home, because oh, I've right. been shouted at before. Have you? Yeah. Oh, dear. And then three wounds off that tank as well. 
Not bad going there. So the Dire Revengers, they're going to open fire into that squad over there. I'm uh, going to need some freeze to hit. And I've played Avenging Aspects, so any sixes will explode. I'm still doing very poor with these Aspect Warriors. But I did get two sixes, which will give me an extra two hits. Three to one. Ah, still terrible. So them three will be minus two. U-class has been in light cover regardless, so yeah. it'll be a minus one. So need them three, sorry. Three. Yeah. So that will be two dead, and yeah. then that one is a minus four, which you can't see here so against. That's three gone. So that'll be three down on that squad. Hoping for a crap morale. Right. I think I best start to charge. In the assault phase, these guys managed to chew through five of the opposing guardsmen. Grange is not interrupting. We're going to go with Azraman next. Two to hit. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> and he needs twos to kill. No sixes. That's a shame. Should have played one of them things. But that's four dead out of his squad. So at the end of turn two, I've managed to score the additional 10. I've discarded my other objective. So that actually puts the Elder on 25 victory points and the Imperial Guard will be on 30. Down here, we lost a couple of guys to Morale Grange, spent two CP to make sure that they auto passed. They're staying still. They're gonna try and hold on to that objective as best they can, but I've got more guys there. So I will be claiming that over him, but it doesn't matter. He's still got these two here. Right. Let's go into turn three. Granger's objectives for the beginning of turn three. Bring it down. He needs to bring down one of my tanks. Um, oh, I think it's if two or more models are tied, your opponent selects one of these models. Well, I'm going to select the one with all the wounds, aren't I? Um, <laughs> bit, 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 <laughs> bit, 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 bit janky of me. Bit janky of me. All right, okay. Well, I am, I am behind. <laughs> <laughs> so, storm hostile objective if you control one or more objectives that were in your opponent's control at the start of the game so if he gets rid of me on here he could pretty much do that an assassination he's got to try and kill my enemy warlord and the only character in my entire game is azraman so i can see some falling back happening and i can see some shenanigans of shooting possibly going no, on no, I'm, somewhere. Just getting, I'm just getting rid of that oh he's getting rid he's of that he's, he's, just, he's just burning it yeah. cp achieved gone yeah so what were you going to get there? Hold, Hold the on. line. All ah, right, so you've got to make sure I'm not within six inches of the center of your deployment zone. So you've got to get rid of Azraman. You've got to get rid of this guy. I'm not sure about that one. I think we might need to get rid of that. And you've got to get rid of them. Yeah, easy. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. I oh, know, you haven't got to get rid of these. No. Your deployment zone's there. I'm thinking yeah. it's... Yeah, I, I, just have a lot of, I just have a lot of things yes, here. here. Yes, I'm do. over there. You're over there, you just need to get rid of them. Yeah. Right. So basically, getting rid of them is one of your primary objectives this particular turn. Yes. Very much so. So Grange has shifted forward. We've got some move, move, move happening down there to try and take that objective off of my guys. That's going to be quite successful to do. These lads falling back to provide a box to the captain. They open fire upon the Dire Avengers after falling back. Didn't do anything, unfortunately. These guys have fallen back off Azraman. This lot is going to first rank fire, second rank fire now, into the fire dragons. So first rank fire, second rank fire, blazed away into these guys. So far, with the last guns, we're talking eight wounds. Roll to save. Ah, I lost three fire dragons so far from the shots. Melter gun coming in. Hits. Doesn't wound. I'm going to command point He's that. He's command pointing it. It's wounded. Do you get a save at that? Yeah, I got a five up in one. I hate your face. <laughs> but. Could make it a six. Make it a six, be ash. But then there's a grenade coming in as well. So, But I'll be able to survive that. Go on, I'm going to. No, in fact, no, sorry, I'm going to roll it. I'm going to see what happens. Yes, he saved it! <laughs> D6 yeah. for frag grenade. Four. Four. That's two hits. No wounds. No wounds. Oh, lucky man. 
So Granger's place experienced iron is veterans. We've got 11 las gun shots coming into the fire dragon. The three plasma guns are going to open fire into this here. The experienced iron giving it an extra minus. So this is las guns. Yep. Needing threes to hit, and those sixes are not welcome. And either is that extra one there. Yeah, veteran is also giving him an order to re-roll ones to hit. So, veteran, so how many is how many's there to start with before you roll any more wounds? Is it five? It's five at the minute. Right, hang on. Oh, well, he's suffered two wounds. He's got one left. Uh, see if these wounds. Another three. What's, yep. He's dead. God damn you. Three plasma guns. They have hit one's auto wounded. Uh, two wounds. Two wounds. At uh, minus four. Yeah, yeah, five up in Vaughn, and it's going to be two damage apiece. Ah, oh, god damn it. So that goes down to four. Oh dear. So tanks now opening fire. It is rinsing these with some punishers. And then the uh, the rest of it is going to go into the wave serpent. So the Punisher first. So that was very spectacular. Managed to reduce the squad down to one wound left on this guy here. Four shots from multi melters now coming into the wave serpent. Me rolling that one. Me roll ones because of his order. Two oh, sixes. God's sake. Auto wounding. Needing force to wound. So three of them have gone through. I will save two with my auto passes. Okay. So two have been saved. Don't film it, are you? Are you not within 12? D6 damage. Two. two. It is still alive with two wounds remaining. Have I command pointed this turn yet? I don't right. think I have. have no, I? I don't know if you have. Wait, you know what? I'm going to command uh, point. Yeah, I'm feeling uh, frisky, friend. Let's see if we can do this now. Never oh! be greedy. Never, oh, give me a never be greedy. <laughs> Last cannon. Last cannon. Still got that left. It hits. hits. It fails to wound. I can't re-roll it. No. What a terrible state of affairs. Three place. wounds remaining on the wave serpent. <laughs> it just goes, hello. <laughs> Still hanging around. Oh. <laughs> I did not expect that. Right. So, it's, I'm guessing big guns. Uh... Heavy Mortar is yeah. going to have a go at your Dire Avenger. Oh, he's going to finish him off. Hopefully. One shot. One shot. He's used his command reroll. He's, he's hit and wounded. Hit and wounded. He's hit and wounded. Ma it is a four up in front. He's saved. He's still alive. Is the Manticore going to pour fire into him? Uh, that would be funny. I already have that objective in the centre. Yes, you do. Yeah, yeah. So there's no point really. Pounding the crap out of him. Because even if he charges in, I can maybe take him yeah. out. Yeah. I'm going to do the sensible thing and I'm going to try and finish off that wave serpent. Okay. H. H. <laughs> Forced to hit. So two auto two wounds. Two auto wounds and two others have hit. Wounded on threes. Actually, uh, no. No, no fours, fours, but it's six. Both. Sixes across the I board. need a flurry. A flurry of great dice here, and I don't think I'm going to get it. Nope. So that will be a dead tank, which explodes! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. Two! That's them gone. Dead. So my objectives at the beginning of this turn, Grange managed to score only one of his objectives. That does take him to 45 points, but I am not being able to score any of the primary objectives in this game. And because of supply lines, I don't get no CPs. So that's pretty bad. So I've got Grind Them Down, Storm Hostile Objective, which I could probably do and secure No Man's Land. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. Um, I've got to get two objective markers in No Man's Land. Uh, maybe. We will see. So we are looking at dire situations here. Azraman's going forward. He's going to try and take the objective. So is he, but he's got three guys to fight. And he's a perfect roll down here. Down here... The ranger's just gone downstairs, shot, and actually killed someone with his sniper rifle. And then the wave serpent now is going to open fire on this squad and may even discharge the serpent shield. Yeah, I think I've got to expend the command point to do it. So, rather than doing that, I'm going to grab my little tinny. These guys down there, they're going to suffer some shuriken to start with. 
That will be two hits. That will be one wound at minus one, but he has taken cover. Still nope, gets down. Still does. And then we've got two D6 with plasma rockets coming in. Five shots. I've not used my reroll to hit yet. So I'll use that now. Freeze to wound. That will be four at minus one. So we we'll take cover and knocks that off. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be four and even fives. God damn you! Uh, Asherman's going to open fire, but he's not shooting at them. He's going to shoot at these guys here instead. Open it up, needing twos. Oh wow, for once he actually hit with everything. Well done, Asherman. Uh, freeze to wound. Two super shuriken, which will be two dead, and another two normal saves. I'm hoping to get some. Uh, yeah, yeah. Another two down because he needed sixes, so four out, and that squad has gone. Well, that's it for shooting. Yay! Charge. Okay, I charged this guy in Grange, tried to overwatch fire, and he failed it, which is a good thing. But I am now going to be using some special abilities, so we've used one of the fate dice for a six to hit. Two more. Oh, Jesus. I wish I got back for wounding. So that's three hits. I'm going to use one of the fake dice for an automatic wound, which will be one dead. He kills all three. Well done, lad. Azurman now. Six attacks. Hits with five. One of them is going to be a six because I've got one left. So I'll put that down there. So he gets another six. He does need... I will double check it. Right, so that'll be five dead with two D3 mortal wounds for another five. He's actually gone and wiped the squad out. Ouch. That's painful. So storm hostile objectives and grab those ones in no man's land have been complete. Surprisingly to say I've only got Four actual models on the table. <laughs> Although Asriman butchering ten veterans by himself pretty brutal, is, pretty is pretty brutal. Bru pretty brutal. And for those guys to try and take him down on this side, it's going to be very difficult. I think he's going to uh, give you a good Roger at some point, I think. Right. Ten it's five. ten points difference. It's 45 points to Grange, 35, 45 points to the, the Eldar, 30, uh, sorry, Guard. 35 points to the Eldar. I didn't manage to crap out any of these guys. So we are going to be looking now at turn four. So turn three, Granger's move, move, move these guys. He's move, move, move those guys. We've got guys move, move, moving everywhere. Even his commanders are running. They're like, feck him. He can be on his own. <laughs> Azurman's like, well, I don't know. Uh, the, yeah, and the tank is going to give itself reroll once to hit. And guess what it's shooting? All of them oh, actually, into I just, him. I just need to make one slight move, so I just want to be within three inches of that objective. Okay, it's backed up. Yep. It's now within three inches of that objective, and it's also within two inches of the objective of that side, so I'm not going to get no cover. But I haven't got a four-up in one save. So go ahead then, sir. Right, it's done four wounds. So what I'm going to do, before he does anything else... He's dead. Yep. Three ones, he's been rinsed. Grange now, heavy quad mortar is firing into the lone, lone ranger. Well, he's been, his position's been sequenced in for four, four shots. shots. He needs fours to hit. No. Oh my good God. No. Is this Manticore gonna fire? Oh yes. <laughs> oh yes, Fran. The Manticore <laughs> is definitely gonna be firing, I think. Eight shots. All right, that's funny. It's a shame I can't have lightning reactions because that would be hilarious. That's not a really good roll, is it? You got one. Oh, wow. Uh, you know what? I'm going to command point. Oh, no, wow. wow. No, no, no. I might say that because I've already hit him. I'm going to... Right, no. There's somebody command point if I don't wound. I've right, wounded. so two wounds. Now, the thing is, I am a ranger in cover, so I do get bonuses. Right. I need two five-ups here. 
Otherwise, I'm not gonna get my grind them down. No! Shit. <laughs> my mission is this turn. No prisoners, grind them down, no retreat, no surrender, because I failed to get you last time. I don't think that's gonna happen. Do you guys? Do you guys believe that's gonna happen? I don't think that's gonna happen. So what I'm gonna do is something really bizarre. Right, so in my turn, a bit of shooting, killed a couple of these guys. He opened fire, killed a couple of them guys, that's it. Uh, Azraman has gone round here, he's now charged with the Luminous Battle Tank. I've got two automatic hits from my hit rolls. I've managed to get five hits in total. So one of them can be an automatic six, because I've got one left. I do need, I am strength six, so I'm going to need fives to win. And I... <laughs> right. So them have hurt. So against that BM off of a tank, he needs fours to save. How many? Three. Three of them That's needing false. fours. So one gets through for three damage. She's not going to kill it. And then two D3, which I'm not using my D3s, will be another three damage. So it only managed to do six. So it took half of its strength off. And that would be effectively be it. At the end of my turn, I won't be able to score any of my missions. I'd have to discard them all. But at the end of that turn, Grange is on 70. I am on 40. I think by the end of that illustrious turn, I think I am dead and done because it will be another 10 points for you. It won't be for me. I might be able to score five because I went second. That will be it. So that is it. That is the end of the game. What a game, to be honest with you, even though I've only ended up with two men left. That was a bit of a comeback there and some back and forth action going on. I did panic at one point. <laughs> oh. it, it, it did start out feeling like eighth. Oh yeah, it did. It did. It did. Just everything seemed to but die. Then, but, but then, yeah, it's, uh... and then everything seemed to die back. I yeah. think that's what it was. Yeah, yeah. It it was like, definitely killing off all the uh, howling banshees. Oh, yeah, they should have got in, but never mind. With a reroll, I needed a seven. Can't believe that. Oh well, it's uh, it's what happens in the game. They've no longer got any massive pluses like they used to, which would have been nice. Unless they have, and I've not read it right. <laughs> I'll cry if it is. Never mind. The Fire Dragons did all right, of course, managing to cook various different vehicles. And of course, my man of the match had to be the sniper rifle. One hit, one wound with the fate dice, takes out the tank. Bad. Overheated itself to death. <laughs> Just finished it off nicely. See that plasma stream coming out of the back? <laughs> Aim for that. And it blew up. Right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button if you do want to see more. Because we always know you want to see more. We'll see you next time.